Today, let's talk about my divorce and co-parenting because talking about it with y'all is like therapy for me at this point. Like an online journal or a sad, pathetic audiobook or podcast, if you will. But first, let's go make some lunch. I've talked about this before, about how since my split, when I don't have my kids, sometimes it's hard for me to get motivated to make myself food and to eat. Like I'm literally just too lazy. <laughs> but I have to eat to stay alive. So I got pre-portioned easy meals from Factor and they happen to be the sponsor of today's video. Factor offers meat, seafood, and veggie-based dishes and preferences that include keto and calorie smart. Every Factor meal is cooked from scratch by real chefs using the freshest ingredients. Then your order is delivered fresh to your door, never frozen along the way. There's no meal prep, no grocery shopping, but I still get my lunch ready in minutes. And it tastes good, which is extra motivation for me to take the few minutes to make the food. <clears throat> might have food in my teeth, but I did in fact have food in my teeth, so get started with Factor for up to 60% off your first box by clicking the link in the description below or use code ZIMMY60, that is Z-I-M-M-Y-6-0. Now back to the video. So today we are going to chat and run errands slash shop. I think I'm going to call these videos like this where we shop and talk retail therapy for obvious reasons because we are shopping and also I am talking about almost my life problems as if you are my therapist. So yeah, we are going to go to Target, Walmart, and Best Buy today. And between those stops, we will chat in my car. In the car now, probably don't need to say that as you can see that, but I'm gonna leave my house and I'm feeling good about it because I just spent the last three hours this morning with a service tech in my house who was setting up a whole home security system, which thankfully I got an early Black Friday deal on it, but it was still roughly a billion dollars. At least it felt like it felt the need for an extreme security and surveillance system because the other day when I got home after getting just a basic grocery pickup order so I wasn't even gone that long when I came home my front door was unlocked and inside my house the microwave was on so naturally, I assumed there was a serial killer hiding somewhere in my house. I called my ex immediately. He was over within two minutes and we walked through my house together to make sure everything was okay. Unfortunately, everything was fine. And as soon as he left, I immediately went and ordered an expensive security system, had it scheduled to be installed ASAP. And here we are now, safely leaving my home, which is now equipped to be the set for the next season of Big Brother. There are cameras and alarms everywhere. It alerts the authorities. Also alerts my ex who lives two minutes away and is a gun-toting Texan. So I feel good about things now. Despite my divorce, I, I do know my ex would still murder someone, at least for my kids. <laughs> and my kids love me. So in a way, he would still murder for me. So I feel good. This is all jokes. I shouldn't use that word on YouTube. I'm probably going to get in trouble. Anyways, with that PSA out of the way, let's go to Walmart. Here we are in Walmart now. They got all their Christmas stuff out, all of their wrapping stuff, their gift boxes, gift bags, but we are going to the boys clothing section. I need to get new pants for my boys. They have finally grown out of their toddler size pants and they really specifically like these jeans from Walmart, they're slim. They're like a stretchy fabric. I think it has Lycra in it. I don't know, but they're really soft, stretchy pants and my kids like these. So I'm gonna get some of these for them. Man, they literally only had one <laughs> of each of their size in each color. So this is one day's worth of pants for my three boys since they all wear the same exact size. Annoyingly, we can't do hand-me-downs or anything. I wish we could, but we can't. I just have to buy three times the clothes for all of them to wear and all of them to grow out of at the same time. I have plenty of shirts and sweaters, so I'm probably gonna go to Target and fill the gap on the jean front. But these stretchy, slim jeans do look really nice, so I'll have them linked down below along with everything else in this video. I'm gonna peek through women's clothing quick here too. Walmart has really stepped up their game when it comes to women's clothing. I own this little mock turtleneck sweater, but yeah, they have some cute, comfy finds for cold weather, and it's all really affordable obviously we're, we're at Walmart oh and then I am buying this right now because I just saw someone post about this on Instagram and it was so cute on them it's kind of like a, a dupe of skims pajamas but it's really really soft it has a tank 
and matching bottoms. It comes in a variety of colors, but I think I like this basic beigey color. So I'm gonna get this set right here. The white back here is also really cute, but I, I think I like the beige the most. They also have a matching cardigan sweater top, pajama top type thing that can go along with it, but I live in the South, so I can manage with the tank top and matching bottoms without the sweater. Not buying this, but how cute is this shacket? That's actually fairly thick and fleece lined. If I didn't already have shackets for my boys, I really like this one. This joy spun is everywhere. They have joy spun slippers, joy spun pajamas everywhere. I mean, this set that I got is also joy spun. So this must be a new brand they have here. Um, this is so cute. These are such cozy pajamas. Next question of the day that tons of people have asked me about since I made it clear that my ex and I are trying to be great co-parents is how is co-parenting going? Well, I am doing my best. It's not always easy, but the thing I am keeping at the forefront of my mind is do what is best for the kids. The whole reason I want a divorce in the first place is because I think it's what's best for the kids. And I also want to thank all of y'all for the reassuring comments on just making me feel like I'm making the right decision here. So many of you have let me know that you went through a similar situation as a kid where your parents got a divorce and it was so much better because there were two happy households. Both of your parents are happily remarried now in great relationships. So now you've been able to see two positive relationships in your life. And then I've also seen probably more comments um, that unfortunately have the opposite story where the person basically told me that they wish their parents got a divorce when they were kids, but their parents stayed together for the kids. And that kid is now an adult who really wishes that their parents got a divorce because the home life was never very happy. And that is really what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm sorry to everyone who went through that situation, but thank you for sharing that with me because that is definitely not what I want for my kids. I would much rather have them hopefully get two separate happy homes and hopefully my ex and I both find partners that we're more compatible with and we can show our kids two separate happy relationships. But back to the question, how is co-parenting going? Again, this is gonna be an ADD episode on the My Zimmy channel where I'm getting off track all the time, but how is co-parenting going? My ex and I did co-host my twins' sixth birthday birthday at a big play place. So I mean, we're co-parenting amicably enough that we could host their birthday party together. They didn't need to have two separate birthday parties. We could combine our money and have one big birthday extravaganza with all the family and friends there in one place. We've also been to dinner together as a family, maybe, maybe only like two, maybe three times since the separation. So I guess on average, that's like once a month we've gotten together and had dinner somewhere out at a restaurant as a family. Recently, I also went to my boys Boy Scout meet that my ex was at because he's the one who enrolled the boys in Boy Scouts. And that was, that was nice. Basically, we can see each other totally fine in short, small spurts. We've always been friends first, like, you know, he was my best friend for pretty much a majority of my life. So we have no problem shooting this for an hour and then going our separate ways. I don't wanna make it sound like it's all sunshine and rainbows because we gotta keep it short. Otherwise, things can get a little heated, but as long as we keep things in short spurts, like it's real easy to be amicable and great for the kids, in front of the kids, communicate what we need to communicate so that we can do what we need to do for the kids. So yes, the key is short spurts. Everyone can keep it cordial easily for an hour or two, but clearly we're getting a divorce for a reason and we're just trying to make the best of this situation that we've gotten ourselves into. So yeah, that is how co-parenting is going. It's going about as well as I think it could be going as two people who are trying to also get a divorce at the same time can like keep it cool with each other. And with that, let's go to Best Buy. Looking at getting a new TV, since my ex got the nice TVs in the split, I was going to get it at Costco, but with a little research, I realized Best Buy was the place for me to get tech as a single woman who knows nothing about electronics and definitely is not strong enough to carry in a TV and install it by herself. So now, Best Buy is my hired husband, cause they have Best Buy Total Tech for only $1.99 a year, and that covers any products I buy for one year 
I get free delivery and free installation. And the free installation is key. That pays for the whole service, just getting one TV. Plus you get Geek Squad tech support. Basically, it just takes the place of a husband for $1.99 a year, so it's worth it. Next commonly asked question I've gotten since announcing my split is, do I have to go back to work now? Am I getting alimony or child support payments, anything like that? And the answer across the board, I guess is no. I'm, I'm not going back to work because I technically already work and I've always worked. I've never not worked. And also, no, I do not get child support and I do not get any alimony from my ex. But really, like, we have the kids split 50-50. So realistically, since we've both always been working, it doesn't really make sense for one of us to pay the other any child support because we both are supporting our 50% of our time with our kids. And then for alimony, every situation is different there are definitely some situations where alimony I definitely think is warranted it would be super cool to get alimony but financial positions um no one's getting alimony from either side <laughs> but back to the work question am I going back to work no because I already currently work and I work doing a variety of things obviously I make some money off YouTube is it enough to pay all my bills absolutely not but I get some YouTube money anytime y'all shop my affiliate links either in the description box below or in my link in bio or from my stories on Instagram or TikTok I get a very small percentage of whatever you buy from those links and it adds up to be able to pay like a couple bills a month so that's nice always appreciate you shopping those links then sponsorships is really big for me especially on TikTok and Instagram so if you ever Ever see a TikTok or Instagram sponsorship from me I so 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 appreciate it if you like comment potentially even share it if you feel so generous it's all free for you and it really really helps me so I so appreciate it like really I so appreciate it the sponsorships are the reason that I am able to to mainly keep doing this as my job. And then also on top of that, the other reason I'm mainly able to keep doing this as a job is something you guys don't see, but I do consulting and branding work for companies on the side. So all of that combined is ultimately how I am able to pay all my bills. And I feel very blessed and thankful that I have figured out a way through all these different means of hustling to be able to pay all my bills because I got a lot of bills to pay now all by myself. So am I rich? No, I'm absolutely not rich. I can't just go do whatever I want. I have to keep figuring out ways to make money so that I can keep paying my bills. But am I self-sufficient? Yes, I am self-sufficient. I'm in a better financial position now than I would be if I was still at my nine to five job that I had a few years ago. So I'm going to keep doing what I am doing now. As long as people don't get sick of me on the internet, I'll keep posting videos and posting TikToks and reels. And then when people get sick of me, I guess I'll just pivot completely to the branding and consulting work. And hopefully that is enough at that point to sustain me. I will say though, going through this divorce now, I am very thankful that I have always continued to work and have a job because it would yeah it would be really stressed like for a while I was thinking about being a stay-at-home mom because I do think that that is such an amazing thing to be able to do for your family but knowing how my situation turned out now for my situation I'm glad it's not the route that I took because it would have been very painful going through this now in that situation. I wish I could have had that situation in another life where I could have been a stay at home mom and not gone through this situation I'm going through now. But being in the life I live now, I am glad that I've always continued working and that I'm able to support myself. So with all that being said, let's go into the next store. At Target now, I need to stay focused and get the pants for my boys, but the sweater, I have in this white sweater. I've been loving it since I got it probably a month ago. I'm pondering getting it in another color. Really, I don't need it though. This, this white one is so cute. I wear it all the time. Target always has so many cute options when it comes to these felt brimmed hats. I feel like they've really expanded 
their options right now. I don't own any hat like this. I have sun hats for when I'm at the pool, but nothing for fall. How much is this? One size and $25. Hmm. This is cute, right? This is cute. I don't think I'd ever actually wear it though. This brown taupe one is cute too. And I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Can you see it? It has like a rating around it, which I think is really cute. There's so many cute ones in all different colors. I'm going to be taking some updated family photos soon. I need to get some cute outfits that match with me and the boys for it. I'm probably going to wear a hat. Maybe in, in that I'll wear a hat. I'll buy a hat for that. But till I figure out the outfits, I'm not going to buy anything, but I am taking some new family photos because I do want some family photos of just me and my boys. Like all the photos I've ever taken ever with them now have, you know, their dad in it, which is great to have some, but I'd also like to have some that's just me and them now at this point. Just like Walmart, Target also has this fuzzy fabric in their pajama section. These ones are a lot more expensive than the Walmart ones were. The Walmart pants were 20 and the tank top was 10. So you get the top and the pants from Walmart for the same price as these pants from Target. And I ripped on these in my last Target shop with me video because to me, the Walmart ones are a cute color. Like they're a light beige it has a mix of white these ones just make me think of a grizzly bear like a big brown bear the bottom of a bear Halloween costume if you will so I'm not a fan of the target ones they're just too costumey I really do love targets at leisure clothing though like that the leggings I'm wearing right now are from Target and they got a lot of new stuff right now actually this shirt I think is super cute not even as an athleisure shirt like I would just wear this around my house and it looks super cozy but you know what I love this color so much I already own so much in this color that I am gonna pass on it if I didn't already own like 80 things in this color I would get it but I I don't need it I don't need it and what the hell is this thing I am so confused maybe it looks cute on is this like full body spandex what is this what is it? Slim fit, mo smooth all day, moisture wicking. I don't know. It's like a skin tight, skin colored bodysuit. I'm tempted to try this on right now just to see. Just to see. Is, do they have it in my size? No, they don't. If they did, I would try it on just out of curiosity. How cute are these leggings? They have this crisscross pattern on the hips. It feels like the brushed, really soft fabric that what I'm currently wearing is. Apparently, according to online, these run small, so I'm just going to size up one size and try these out. In the boys' clothing section now, I need to find some jeans for my boys, and they're in this weird in-between size. Basically, freaking Walmart, Target, everywhere is sold out of the size six or seven, which is what I need to buy now. And when I see it, in their size, I don't know. I'm not spending $20 on a pair of corduroy jeans. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go online and see what options there are and probably just go online and get the Walmart ones that I just got for $14. Hopefully I can find a deal. I should have freaking done this on Cyber Monday which was yesterday as I'm filming this, but I was an idiot and just focused on electronics. So now I'm having to pay full price for pants because my boys are pretty much out right now. Jog, how much are these joggers? They can wear just basic sweatpants. $12, this is good. All right, I'm gonna get some basic sweatpants for them. They don't, see, this is, this is the annoying thing. They have the small kind of toddler sizes, and then they just don't have freaking size six or seven anywhere. So whatever, I got I got two at least. This Target has one of their new Altas in it. It is beautiful. I love makeup, beauty, hair care, all that stuff. I used to be a huge makeup junkie. I would spend way too much money on makeup and just beauty stuff in general. I mean, I still probably spend way too much on it, but I have just kind of in my old age found my favorites like this right here. This Cali Contour Palette, this is what I use to contour, bronze, and blush my face every single day. This is like my, this is what I have on my face right now. I like that it's all in one palette also, so when I go travel, I can just pack this up. Oh, my holy grail right here. 
Then I have been using this Bondi Boost. It looks like they're out of this specific one that I get. I get, it's like one of these spray things, but it's not this intensive spray. Although I have bought this intensive spray before, I get the Procopil. It's like medicated hair growth spray. Post having three babies, I lost so much hair. And when I started using the Procopil spray by Bondi Boost, I, again, I'll have the specific one linked below. I've legit been growing my hair back. It's the thickest it's been since having kids. And I owe it all to this specific Bondi Boost spray that I have bought maybe three or four times over now. I've been using it for probably eight months. Just bought those boys pants and the leggings for myself and now a little treat for myself, a matcha frappuccino. There are very few things in life that are more relaxing than sitting alone in a quiet car and drinking Starbucks in peace. This will never get old. We'll never get old. <laughs> Anyways, I have a brain freeze because I'm drinking this freaking frappuccino so fast. If you smash your tongue to the roof of your mouth, it supposedly makes your brain freeze go away quicker. I don't know if it's working. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. This next question is a question that I answered last time, but the answer is ever changing. It's the most annoying question on the planet, I feel like, when it's just asked out and about because no one ever gives a real answer. And the question is... How are you? And I'm not gonna just say I'm good. Like everyone says when you're just out and about, it's like, what's the point of even asking? Everyone's always just good. And are you good? I'm not good. I mean, if I was good, I would still be married right now. So I'm okay, I guess. But I am doing well, dot, 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 all things considered. I'm, st I'm still processing the death of my marriage, but also realizing a lot of people compare divorce to death and I don't know. I feel like that's a little dramatic. Like it, it is the death of the life I thought I was going to have, but I mean, ultimately I'm still alive and well. My kid's dad is still alive and well. My kids fortunately are still alive and well. My mom, my brothers, my cousins, all my best friends, everyone's alive and well. So I'm still living a very blessed life. I guess it's just mourning the death of what I thought my life would be. But it's not like my life is gonna suck now. At least I'm not gonna let it suck now. So my life is just different and unplanned now. And that is, for me, kind of an exciting thing because my life since I was 15 has basically been planned out and only recently had the plot twist. So everything was going according to plan until three months ago and then everything kind of just blew up in my face. Yeah, now it's just things are not planned. But ignoring the more negative side of what goes on in a divorce, because I always try to focus on the positive, you could spend your whole life dwelling on the negative and then just live a really crappy life. So I would much rather focus on the positive and live a hopeful, hopefully happier life. The happiest life I can live as long as I focus on the positive. Did not try to make that rhyme. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is focusing on the positive. In the last three months, I've made some really great single mom friends. They've been my biggest supporters. Also, this is super random. I'm not sure if I'm really allowed to say anything about it, but I didn't sign an NDA. So I am allowed to say something about it. But I've been talking to a production company about potentially being on a single mom's reality show. Now, am I the type of person who like fits the mold of being on a reality show? Not really. I feel like I'm pretty basic and normal. The, the craziest thing that's happened in my life is getting a divorce. So I'm not, I'm not a dramatic person, but yeah, it's, there's potentially going to be a single mom's reality show. And I've been like on Zoom interview calls and sent in videos and kind of just waiting to hear back now and don't even really know if it's for me. As you know, I don't show my kids on my channel that would still apply if they wanted me on the show. It would be a non-negotiable that my kids are not going to be a part of the show. Obviously, like my ex would probably have to agree to be filmed as well in our interactions. And I'm really not sure if he would agree to that. So the whole thing's probably a no-go to begin with. And then even if it is a go, it's probably a no-go because if they want to show my kids, I'm out. And if my ex doesn't want to be on it, they might 
think I don't have enough content for them. I don't know. If the show does happen with or without me, I think it'll be a really entertaining show because I've never in my life seen a reality show about single moms. I mean, there was teen mom, but that was more so focused about them being teen moms. I haven't seen a show specifically about a bunch of women who are recently divorced, dealing with co-parenting, dealing with the divorce situation, dealing with freaking online dating and all that stuff. I, you know, heard that's a mess. <laughs> so that that is all things that I think would be really interesting reality TV. So who knows? I, again, don't think I'm dramatic enough for reality TV. Probably wouldn't be good entertainment for, I don't know, someone as basic as me who's not going to be doing anything crazy out there. But if they need a mildly sane person to just observe and judge people, maybe I could I could do that, right? That is so off topic from the question. It started off as how are you doing and it ended up on am I going to be on a reality show? And I don't know. If I end up on a reality show, maybe I'm not doing all right because I don't think people who end up on reality shows are doing great. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's Go to the next place or home or whatever. Where where am I going? I need to figure out where I'm going next. I think I'm just going home. Back home now. I finished my entire Frappuccino on the very short drive home. I'm surprised I don't have a permanent brain freeze from it. But let me know any other questions you have for future retail therapy videos in the comment section below. Check out any of the affiliate links. I will have as much linked as possible. And overall, just thank you so much for all the support in all of these, I me basically complaining about my life videos. And if you want to keep hanging out, feel free to click on one of the other videos floating over the screen at this point, And I will see you in the next video. Bye.